Welcome back to the shop. I was searching around on Thingiverse, looking for something to print. Uh, I was actually looking for a different project, but I was browsing around and I came across just a really cool print. Uh, the woodworker in me was interested in what I found and I thought it was in intriguing and then I started looking at it and the engineering behind it was just awesome. Uh, so I couldn't resist and I had to give it a print. Stick around, let's see what I found and uh, how things came out. I'm Ron and this is my place. Thanks for sticking around. I'm a sucker for something that's kind of cool, interesting, gimmicky, gadgety. And I was digging around on Thingiverse and actually found a interesting clamp for woodworking. Um, well, it could be for about anything, but this is the clamp I found. And it's pretty amazing. I mean, I have an issue and I'll have to show you where when I printed it, I ended up breaking the, the screw, but more or less, it's a typical, this goes in here and it'll attach into this. Then as it screws, it basically clamps and the jaws are, are movable and the entire thing is 3D printed. Uh, so I just, thought this whole thing was amazing and I printed this screw at only uh, 15 or 20 percent infill and it just wasn't enough uh, and of course I'm printing this in pet G and to, it gives it a little bit more flex um, but yeah so it was really neat so then I had to print it and so I decided to print it at 50 percent infill and it turns out so nice on the bed <laughs> that I wanted to show it to you all it's just, it printed gorgeous. You can see one little goober right there from the, uh, a little bit of carbon from the printing, but it's just beautiful. Pet G, Maker Geeks. And I actually sliced this with Simplify 3D. So it, it printed out really, really nice. And of course, printing pet G out on a um, PEI sheet can be terrible, but this just peels right off because I use glue stick. Um, whenever I print pet G, I just put Elmer's purple glue all over it as kind of a separation layer, and it usually works really well. Um, but this printed out so nice on everything that I just had to show. And the other one printed out good too. I mean, I didn't clean this up at all. It's really got good dialed in prints. There's just a very tiny bit of, of wisping between those two parts there you could see, but everything is gorgeous. Inside there's just a couple wisps right there. Other than that, it's just, other than that, it's just fabulous. It, it really is. It, so let's see if we can get this thing apart and get some of it put together. A lot of times PTG on PEI is uh, you know, a disaster waiting to happen. But as you can see, if you do it with the right stuff, I mean, this glue stick just lets it pop right off and it has such a nice bottom layer. Um, I mean, it's not, it doesn't pop off, obviously, quite as nice as... Hello. They're getting away from me. But it's just really, I mean, if you don't use Elmer's glue on your prints, especially for Pet G, you, you really need to. It, it makes life so much easier. And then you just run it in the bathroom and wash it off and you win. So these are the, the screws and we'll see if they work any better. They're kind of flimsy, but it, 
the issue that I was having is I actually hurt myself from working on all these things. But, oh well. Well, so far that's doing pretty good. It's like a duck call. <laughs> So this, as you can see, has the knob end, and it just snaps in like so. So this, they've got movable clamps. There you go. I mean, I don't know how much force you're gonna really be able to put on it. But for like glue ups and stuff, I think it'll work. I was really impressed. I mean, all of these joints are screwed so let's see if we can put this thing together. Uh, I'll probably time lapse it a little bit and see how it goes. It's really simple to put together though. The one thing I did do that I'll tell you is the little tool, this little tool here is awesome because what you do on the, like the screw holes, anytime you've got a little bit of elephant foot going on, you're able to just put it in here and you just run it around a little bit and it cleans it right up. So then you, it, it allows it to, it just cleans it all up and allows things to fit just a little bit better. And if we can make it fit simpler, then it makes life a lot less problematic. So we'll probably, Okay, so I got the print pulled up. So this is the uh, schematic that you can use. As you can see, the handle here, and then these the uh, fours are the are the actual print uh, printed screws. And the, there's actually a part. I'll show it to you here in a second. So you got one, two, three, a bunch of fours, and then you got uh, these two gripper parts, and then there's a bushing here and a, and a gripper there and a bushing kind of here. In a bushing here so yeah works pretty good and what I was going to show you you can see that there's a four it actually prints the number right on the part which is pretty pretty awesome so yeah Let's put this bad boy together. Voila! Another... So there you go. Two clamps. Amazingness. I'm pretty happy with it. I'll let you all know how it goes from the uh, 
out in the shop. Uh, again, definitely go with 50%. That seems to be the trick. This one was a little bit rough. Trash. Um, and there you have it. Awesome, awesome little print. Uh, again, I printed these on the Prusa i3 Mark III uh, using Pet G Green from Maker Geeks, and I printed up at 260 with a 90 degree bed using Elmer's glue stick as a separation layer, and printed I think 0.2 layer height, maybe 0.15. I'd have to look again. I can't remember. Um, but it printed just fabulous. I mean, just absolutely flawless. And I don't often say flawless, and it is. It's just absolutely beautiful print. Uh, just printed great. And for the most part, no support. Uh, one little piece that has a couple supports on it. Again, I used a slicer with Simplify 3D. Uh, another thing I did. I've been hearing a lot of stuff about you know, Repetier server that I did something on and Octoprint that I did something on. I've had a number of people say that they have been noticing some uh, artifacts in the prints if they don't print with SD card. I don't fully get it. I'm decided to test some things out and I printed these both directly from the SD card. Um, I may print another one or two and use like Repetier or, or Octoprint or something and see if there's any differences. Um, I don't know why there would be, but I don't know. I've seen stranger things, I suppose. One little, one little goober right there. A carbonized piece of filament at the very end of that layer. But just absolutely perfect tolerance. Just perfect. Maybe put a little oil or something on there. I don't know. Make it go smoother. So if you liked what you see, remember, hit the subscribe button. If you like it, hit the like button. If you don't like it, dislike. That's fine. Tell me why. Any questions or any feedback on these, please hit the comments down below. Um, yeah, if you want to support the channel anyway, it'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, you can buy me a coffee. There's Amazon links down below. There's a whole bunch of different ways that you can uh, support the channel and all of it would be greatly appreciated. Um, other than that, hopefully you have a great weekend and print everything you can.